Hello everyone, this is COADB.com or the Coat of Arms database and today we are going to discuss the Arthur Coat of Arms. The first coat of arms shown here is Ghouls, a chevron between three rest or clarions or Crest, a pelican in her piety sable standing her nest or. So a clarion is a, uh, I believe a type of trumpet and a pelican in her piety means Pelican is piercing her breast and feeding her young with her blood. The shield itself was that of Arthur of Clopton or Clapton in Somerset, England. Sir Thomas Arthur, who lived in the 14th century, bore gules, a chevron argent between three clarions or. He was commissioner or sheriff of Somerset in 1397 and he descended from Sir Richard Arthur of Clopton. The crest is that of Arthur of Springfield in County Essex. Lawrence Arthur of Springfield, Essex had sons John Arthur, who died in 1682. He was rector of Clapham and a graduate of both Cambridge and Oxford. And he also had son Hercules Arthur, who purchased the manor of Friars in Bocking in 1632. Another similar coat of arms, this was granted in 1606 to John Arthur, the Lord Mayor of Dublin, Ireland. Another found in Shanakiel House in Cork, Ireland. Daniel Leahy, son of David of Shanakiel, married Margaret, daughter of Francis Arthur of Limerick, and assumed the additional surname of Arthur, becoming known as David Leahy Arthur. He was High Sheriff of Limerick in 1849. Another granted to Francis Robert Arthur, Esquire of Blackburn in Somerset, a colony in Tasmania, Australia, and of Drayton Manor in Dalhus, in Victoria. He also owned 250 acres of land in New Zealand. Another for either Jasper or possibly James Arthur, who was Deputy Inspector General of Hospitals in 1837. Coat of Arms of the Arthur Baronets. The Arthur Baronetcy of Upper Canada was created in the United Kingdom Baronetage on June 5, 1841 for military commander and colonial administrator, Sir George Arthur, son of John Arthur, who came from a Cornish family. Here we see a picture of Sir George Arthur, or rather an oil painting. Another for the Arthur family of Limerick, Ireland. Ghouls a chevron between three Irish brogies or, and the uh, brogie is like a, a boot or a shoe. And it looks like this was found on a 17th century monument in a in St. Mary's Cathedral in Limerick and it was misidentified as brogies and they are likely just clarions like the other members of the family. Ghouls of Chevron Argent between three bulls or unable to find information on this one. Sable three tress rooks and a chief argent another the chief or. Coat of arms borne by Thomas Arthur he was a knight and sheriff in Somersetshire, England in the late 1300s and early 1400s. Sable three cocks and a chief argent. All we know about this is it was found in Wales. Another sable and a chief ermine, three cocks proper, born by an Arthur who lived in Levenbank, Scotland in 1803. Sable Three Wheels and Chief Argent. Sable Three Wheels Argent, a Chief Or. And Argent, a Chevron between two massels and Chief and across crosslet Ficheen base ghouls. In the middle, a Chief, in the middle Chief, a Red Breast proper. This coat of arms was born by the Honorable William Ray Arthur, a Scottish businessman who served as Lord Provost of Glasgow in 1870. And it's very 
The design of the coat of arms is very similar to that of Thomas Arthur, citizen of St. Andrews in 1435. James Arthur, who bore a similar coat of arms in 1457, and Robert Arthur in 1551. And if you enjoyed this video and would first like to find out who your ancestors were, and second, learn whether or not they owned a coat of arms, please visit us at coadb.com where we offer professional genealogy research services. Link in the description. Thank you very much.